All right, so you want to know how to build Kaltraro? Super easy, super quick, low investment. Maybe you're a casual player. Maybe you hate grinding Echoes. Let me show you how. I have not seen anyone talking about this. Figured this out on stream a little while ago. Shout out Kiko. What we figured out is that you can use two four costs, Tempest Mephis, if you get crit damage or crit rate, and Thundering Mephis with crit rate or crit damage, depending on how you want to build it, and then a one cost, one cost, one cost. Normally, everyone's been talking about the full 12 costs, four costs, three costs, three costs, one cost, one cost build. The problem with this is that you want both three costs to be on set and on element damage. That's hard to farm. With this build, you do not have to farm those three cost echoes. And you still get the full five piece Thunder Void effect. I believe this only works for Kalkaro right now because there are two separate four cost bosses the Tempest Mephis and the Thundering Mephis. Tempest Mephis is located here by Chisha Village. Thundering Mephis is located here in the Withering Frontier, not far away. It is very confusing that there are two of them. I accidentally spent resin on the wrong one trying to level up Kalkaro. Don't do that. Make sure you get the right one. Now with this build, I've been able to get a pretty decent crit rate and a pretty high crit damage, especially considering I'm only on a blue weapon. And so with the Battle Pass Autumn Trace Broadblade with the crit rate at my current level cap of 60, I'll be able to add 15 crit rate to this, bringing the total to somewhere around 56 crit rate 206 crit damage and so hopefully with this build i'll be able to get a little bit more crit out of it as you can see how this one rolled with no crit substats this one got one crit this one rolled pretty nicely and then i need to track down two more one cost on set with attack but those are so much easier to farm disclaimer time is this going to be better than the traditional way of building characters that we've known so far uh, I don't know. I, I, I'm, I'm not smart enough. I have not done the math. I have no idea. Will this be considered meta? Probably not. Will this get you all of the triangles in, in the Tower of Adversity? I, I don't know, but it's doing pretty good damage for me. I think it's good if you're a casual and you don't really care about that stuff. We want to still be able to dish out some damage. I think it's also a pretty good mid to late game way to build. And especially if you're planning to... In the long run, get Yinlin. You're not losing out by investing in two of these because you can probably give one of them to Yinlin if you end up building a regular 12 cost build down the road. All right, so yeah, I think that's pretty much everything that I've got for this. Uh, if that helps, uh, awesome. I uh, hope it does. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, if you want to catch me live, I'm live here on YouTube and Twitch at these times on screen. Uh, links in the description. Thanks for hanging out. Appreciate it.